from the Admirals losing to two Revolutionaries captains to CP9 being held off by one captain and to the new powerhouses of the One Piece Frenchies the God's Knights, are you guys ready for One Piece Chapter 1083? Let's go! The chapter starts off with a cover requested by Mikura. And it shows Doflamingo tending to a fallen chick while he is thinking about a future. In which he doesn't have. Where we then transition to the Kamabaka Queena. Where we finally get what we've been waiting for, for two long weeks. Sabo's talk with Dragon and Ivankov telling them about how their mission went. We then hear Dragon saying that the mission triggered 12 nation uprising against the world government with they being successful. Ivankov quickly cuts him off saying that one of those nations was wiped off the face of the earth. Nani? Ivankov then tells us how they have been attacking the Celestial Dragon's impenetrable fortress by attacking their food supply. He then adds on saying they will know how it feels to live in poverty and hunger. But then, we find out about the new powerhouses the God's Knights, when Dragon tells Ivankov. They won't take this lying down. Now guys hear me out here I know I might be out of line, but don't this guys look like Shang Tsang. His crew, I mean look at them. Ivankov then tells Sabo that he will be their target. They then start talking about King Cobra's assassination. Sabo adds on saying he could leave with his assassination since it helped them fuel the flames of rebellion. Dragon then slams the newspaper on the table asking Sabo if the news scoop had any truth to it. Sabo then takes a look at the newspaper and he is speechless at the picture. Just to point out a fact Dragon was ready to kill Sabo in this panel. We then transition to a flashback from a month ago. In the holy land of Marijiwa and we see the celestial dragons running away from the fire which was burning away at their food supply. And we also see one of the revolutionaries, Captain Skerasu, rescue the people who were kept as slaves by the Celestial Dragons. The rescuing continues until the admirals show up to face the revolutionaries. Oda being in his bag of tricks proves us wrong again in thinking that it was Sabo who fought against the admirals. Well, it was in fact the Captain Karasu and Captain Morley who were able to fight off the admirals. While Captain Lindbergh was fighting off CP9 agents alone. This just goes to show off the strength of the revolutionaries, it's not to be trifled with. But it also gets you wondering, how strong the Knights of God are that it gets Dragon worried while having a team this strong. We then move inside the Celestial Dragon's castle where we see Sabo has finally found Kuma being ridden like a horse by the Celestial Dragon. We then see Bonnie running towards them screaming the words Father and we transition to Princess Shirahoshi listening in on the conversation using a transponder snail. The chapter ends off with Princess Vivi telling Rob Lucci to back off because she doesn't want to be protected by him and that she prefers Gark being the one protecting her. The chapter closes off with King Cobra being granted audience with the five elders. So guys, what do you guys think about this new chapter which was on fire and who do you guys think the God's Knights are? Could it be Shanks and his crew? Let me know in the comments. By the way, I'm going to make a video on why I think it's Shanks and his crew in the next coming days, so stay tuned.